Hey guys, I hope that paper one and two went well. This is just a little video to talk about what I think might be in this year's OCR A uh, Chemistry A level paper three. So as always, these are just predictions based a little bit on past papers, but also based on what's come up already in papers one and two this year, which is why I don't release this video until after those two papers have come out. So let's talk about paper three. It's a relatively short paper. There's no multiple choice section. There tends to be a lot more practical work or practical based questions. And so some of the practicals that I think they might be including a little bit more of in paper three this year is potentially some enthalpy change work because most of the questions that they've already asked have been focused away from that area um, and have been more about, say, titration practicals. So we've already had a redox practical. Um, we've had some organic, but enthalpy changes, we've not really had a lot about measuring them. So there are actually three main areas they could ask about in that sense. So there's combustion, which is using your copper can and having your alcohol in a little spirit burner. It doesn't have to be an alcohol, but a liquid fuel. So that has a lot of links to organic chemistry, to bond enthalpy, that kind of thing. You've also got enthalpy of solution, and the reason that that can come up a lot in paper three is because you've got your enthalpy of solution, which you can measure using a polystyrene cup, taking a solid, dissolving it, and measuring the change in temperature. And that can be linked to things like lattice enthalpy and dissolving as well. And then you've got enthalpy of neutralization. Now, neutralization is in fact just hydrogen ions H plus reacting with hydroxide ions and you can measure that uh, in a polystyrene cup as well and often in a more synoptic content we might be looking at differences between strong weak acids um, or links to an organic acid or an organic base so all of those things um, can come up in enthalpy changes make sure that you know how to describe how to measure an enthalpy change Recrystallization, we've had another question in paper two about purification of an organic liquid this year. So that's using your separating funnel. And we had that last year as well, and not so much on recrystallization, which also links to solubility of organic compounds. So this idea of being uh, more soluble in the hot solvent and less soluble in the cold. So that could be an area that they ask about in an organic synthesis. And there's been very little on inorganic analysis so far. So we're talking about tests for ions, uh, tests for anions in particular, but also your transition metal reactions. We've had a tiny little bit about colour changes um, with some transition metals, but not a lot given how many transition metals we need to know on the course. Right. So that definitely could be an area and a Bigger question, maybe with an unknown compound, where there are some colour changes or tests for ions involved. Um, and then rates of reaction. So we've had some Arrhenius has already come up. Um, but in terms of linking rates to mechanisms, that's a big area because it's a could be an organic reaction. We know organic reactions have more complicated mechanisms often. And so that could be linked. And there hasn't really anything been anything about monitoring rates so basically you've just been given the data as opposed to knowing some basics about monitoring rates for example using clock reactions using titrations using volume of a gas uh, over time using disappearing cross so recapping those essential rates methods and then ph curves so we've had a big buffer question but we haven't had much about acid alkali um, titrations and pH curves related to that as well. So make sure you know your basics about the types of indicator, how we use pH curves. And then paper three is very synoptic as well as practical. Now I feel like OCR is generally just like very synoptic all the way through. It likes to make links, but these are just my ideas about things that could be coming up. We've already mentioned enthalpy changes has strong links to lattice enthalpy. Or lattice energy so you could have a solution experiment that was then linked to lattice enthalpy and hydration um, 
so make sure that you kind of know how to describe effects of different things on lattice energy or different things on hydration enthalpy make sure that you know how to talk about the size of ions and that kind of thing group two hasn't come up a lot and again group two the synoptic content that you can get with group two is often around the solubility of their compounds so solubility of hydroxides can link to ph titrations it can link to um, sorry uh, ph measurements but also titrations um, group two can link to our inorganic analysis and tests for ions as well um, you've got intermolecular forces having a really strong link to organic chemistry and different molecules and their boiling point, which can also be linked to practical techniques such as reflux and distillation, boiling points and separation of molecules. Haloalkanes have not come up very much this year. There is a big haloalkanes uh, practical related to the hydrolysis of haloalkanes and rates. So this idea of like chloro, bromo, iodo having different bond strengths between the carbon and the halogen and the different rates of reaction, that also links to inorganic analysis because we usually monitor that by using silver nitrate and precipitation. Equilibrium conditions, so longer questions talking about, we've had some calculations for equilibrium. We have not had a lot on Le Chatelier's principle linking it to rates. So those kind of compromise reactions where you look at the effect of temperature and pressure on yield and rates. So those are my thoughts about what might come up. Obviously, final push now, just try and revise as much as possible. Um, there are practice questions and walkthroughs on my website. I've also got a practical chemistry playlist on YouTube. So that will take you through some of the things like recrystallization, organic liquid prep, lots of uh, rates experiments like um, iodine clock reaction um, and there's also stuff about enthalpy practicals on there as well and practice papers and predicted papers all of this stuff on my website including the extended response so if you want some six mark practice all the calculations booklet at the time that I'm making this that everything's on sale because it's the end of exams now so get yourself a bargain if you just want some last minute practice walkthrough videos that kind of thing. Good luck. We are nearly there. End of the week. Hope it really goes well for you.